Good morning guys, how are my beautiful people doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, my name is Dan. Uh, it's super early right now, so I might look a little bit more sleepy than usual. But today I'm gonna review a highly requested sunscreen. This is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios Hydrating Cream UV Mule 400. This is the tinted version. This one has the new UV filter created by L'Oreal called Mexero 400. Uh, which it's it's super innovative in my opinion. It protects against wavelengths from 380, 400, and we don't have any other filters to protect against uh, this specific gap, which uh, makes up 30% of uh, UV rays. So um, it's super innovative, super good. Um, if you guys remember, I hated the old formula. I have both. This one was too orange for me, too dark. Uh, the fragrance was super, super strong. It lingered for the entire day, so I was not a fan of this one. I still have a lot of it. <laughs> um, and um, I'm gonna compare both of these. This new formula, it is improved, in my opinion. It's still not the greatest for me, but um, yeah, before I start the review, please consider following me on Instagram, on Facebook, subscribe to this channel for more videos related to skincare. Uh, ring that bell so you get notified every time I post something. And my Patreon account, you can check me out there if you want to support the channel. It is super sunny today outside. I think you can see by the, by the quality of the image and how bright I look. Okay, so um, I'm gonna qu quickly review this uh, packaging. 10 out of 10, love this pump bottle. Um, the price for this one is between $11 to 20 something. It, it's very different in different stores, retailers. When it comes to irritant ingredients, this one has alcohol as the third ingredient. It is super hydrating though, it doesn't bother my skin. Uh, it does have fragrance, they don't sell a fragrance-free version of this. Now, I must talk about the fragrance. The fragrance is so much less potent in this version compared to the previous one. I really like it. They actually changed the fragrance, it's kind of like... Um, it smells like jasmine, I think. It's much more subtle, it doesn't linger that much. Great improvement there, <laughs> in my opinion. Now, the UV protection, my experience with the sunscreen, the ingredient list. I'm gonna show you the difference between the tint of this one and the previous version. So you guys can see what changed there. So uh, this is the new version. It is a little bit lighter, as you guys can see. It's still too dark for me, but um, I guess there's a slight improvement there. It, it is, in my opinion, slightly less orange than the, the previous version. Let me actually I can do this and show you. Yeah, there's much, much bigger difference right now, as you guys can see. So um, they improved the fragrance, they improved the color a little, a little, a little bit. <laughs> and let me actually show you how the tinted fluid compares to this. This one is the tinted fluid. It is, as you can see, the best out of all of them. Well, the best for me for my skin color. When I apply it on my skin, it just makes me look a little bit more tan, which I don't mind. I actually like that. Makes me look healthier, I guess. So uh, yeah, that's the difference between the tints. Um, there is a pretty nice improvement here. So yeah, basically I like the new formula much more than the previous one. What should I do with this now? <laughs> now, the UV filters for this one. We have eight UV filters, you guys. Eight UV filters. Uh, we had six in the previous version. So we have Optisalate, we have Uveral T150, uh, Tinosorb S, Maxerol XL, Avobenzone. Um, we have the new filter, Maxerol 400. We do have um, Uveral A+, and uh, Maxerol SX, which is patented by, by L'Oreal. Yeah, those are all the filters. That basically translates to amazing protection. We have SPF 50 plus here. Uh, we don't know the exact UVA protection. Um, I'm gonna assume it's super high, uh, just because this is La Roche Posay. And the previous version had a UVA protection of um, 42, if I'm not mistaken. It was extremely high. Uh, they added two more filters, so it might be even higher here, uh, but definitely a UVA protection above 30. Now I'm gonna apply this so you guys can see how it looks like on my skin. I'm gonna do four pumps. I think that's enough. That's how it looks like. Uh, okay, you guys know I like to dab it to get a more uniform protection. Yeah, it's pretty easy to rub it in. Um, I feel like this version goes slightly less patchy than the previous one. 
which is nice. Yeah, definitely smells like a jasmine. If you're a fan of that, then you're gonna love this one. Yeah, it goes on much, much smoother, much more like uh, uniform in my opinion. It's not as patchy as the previous one. So they improved there too. A lot of improvements in this one. Yeah, this is how it looks like. Um, definitely too dark for me, but it makes your skin much more uniform as you can see. It is kind of shiny uh, because this is the hydrating formula. This one, the, oh shit. The fluid is less shiny and actually it's a better color for my skin. But compared to the previous version, this one um, works a little bit better for me. It is slightly lighter. It's gonna work great for people with dry skin, normal skin. Even people with oily skin can give this one a shot uh, if you like a glow or um, you can use some powder to mattify it. For some reason, it looks much, um, much more... There's a much bigger contrast on the camera, actually. I look darker and, and more orange on the camera than I do in real life. In real life, it almost looks normal. Almost. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on, because I'm, I'm looking in, in the mirror and I don't look that dark. Um, now, what I do, I'm not gonna go outside like this, of course. What I do, and I cannot really recommend doing this. Uh, you guys know I don't really, I never recommend actually mixing sunscreens just because you might alterate the formula, the film might not be as uniform. Uh, so I don't recommend mixing sunscreens, but to make this work, I actually, I am mixing two pumps of this with uh, two or three pumps of their untinted version of this. Uh, both of these have pretty much the same formula and I feel like it doesn't really change the the way the protective film is formed and stuff like that. Yeah, but I cannot recommend doing that, definitely. It's um, do it at your own risk because I cannot be 100% sure it, uh, the formula remains the same, the protective film, the final protective film it's, is as uniform as possible. It should be in theory because the formula is almost exactly the same. This one just has the iron oxides to give it the, the color, but yeah, I am doing it. Um, I'm pretty confident it works and the final protective film is as uniform as possible, especially with all those filters. But I'm just not 100% sure and I just wanna, I don't wanna put you at risk, guys. Yeah, but one or two pumps of the tinted version combined with like three, two, three pumps of the untinted is just the, the perfect color for me. It makes me just a little bit more tan, makes my skin more uniform. It looks really great, actually. Let me actually show you how it, well, I'm not gonna show you, I cannot show it on my face. But let me show you how well these combine together. Yeah, they mix super well together, just because, like I said, it's the same formula. Yeah, you see, it's almost my color. If I apply it on my neck, then you can see it's almost invisible. Like I said, it makes your skin more uniform. It should protect it a little bit against blue light because it has the iron oxides, so you get better protection, better looking skin. It doesn't disguise my pores, they remain pretty much the same, but definitely erases my blackheads. They're, they're not there anymore, they're gone. It, it basically covers them. Um, yeah, you guys, that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it, hope you find it helpful. I can kind of recommend this one now, unlike the previous one. <laughs> Uh, give it a shot if you like what you see. Yeah, uh, leave a comment down below. It helps with the algorithm and to expose this video to as many people as possible. Thank you for that. I love you all. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.